What's the word, man? What's the deal? We back with another one, man. Y'all see the title, man? This shit is crazy, man. But before we get into that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all my current subscribers, man. I see the count going up. We putting in work daily, man. And I appreciate all y'all. I just want to let y'all know that from me to you, man. I appreciate it. But yeah, man, today you got the president of the United States basically having a plan in effect a $30 million plan that he basically going to put crack pipes in the hood. Basically going to put crack pipes in the street. He, they're literally making a plan in effect to where they're manufacturing, manufacturing <laughs> crack pipes. Come on, man. I don't see nobody really speaking up on this shit. Shout out to Crip Mac, but he went viral. The negative shit go viral. But you don't see no blogs. You don't see nobody really talking about this shit. Literally. Like a $30 million plan. Y'all got to think, man, this is a pyramid scheme. They do not give a fuck about us, man. How much, like how many times do people got to say that? They don't. They don't. They'll literally bring the drugs in. All them drugs is getting brought in, man. The crack, the, from the 80s to the heroin, all that from Vietnam. All, all that shit is being brought in to the Pablo Escobar's, the CIA. That, like they all know about it. All that shit is getting brought in. Like you got to think about it. They bringing all that stuff in. Then say the average nigga on the block, he gonna sell the shit trying to get the fast money. They gonna lock him up, throw him under the jail for life. Get money off of that. Because you know when you go to jail or slash prison, they get paid every day. That's why the count's so high. Like they're literally making money off of us. It's a pyramid scheme, man. They do not care about us at all. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about me. The presidents don't. They don't. They don't. Like... I don't see, I don't get it, man. Like, that's some bullshit. Shout out to the people that's going through things. A lot of people got their own vices, their own addictions. It don't even just be drugs. Some niggas be addicted to shopping. Some niggas be addicted to eating. Some niggas do be addicted to drugs. Some niggas be addicted to the internet, sadly. Some niggas, like, everybody got their own vices. Nobody in this world has the right to judge the next man, even though they do. Nobody perfect out this bitch. Nobody. So shout out to them, man. Everybody always talking down about them, man. And they got a bad stigma, man. They human just like you and I, man. And they'll fix it okay with, man. <laughs> For real. Just, you know, hit them on that back end. And they'll fix it okay with, like, yeah, what up? You feel me? What what you want? What channel you want? You feel me? You want the Spectrum, Netflix, like, what you need? Like, what? What's up? Like, they, they with all that. You want the car wash? Like, don't play, man. <laughs> Don't play, man. Don't play, man. Shout out to them, man. But yeah, man, it's a it's a crazy situation, man. It's like all that money, 30 million, that's generational wealth, man. Like literally, that's a lifetime full of money. Really, like if a million is, to be honest, if you know how to spend it right, if you know how to manage it right, but 30 million, you can place that into somewhere else, man. Instead of they making crack pipes, my nigga. Look it up, man. If you think I'm lying, look it up. They're making crack pipes. Think about it. The country is in debt. The country is like, in what? Millions, if not billions, I think it's millions or billions of dollars in debt. So they taking the, the debt that they in. I think it's like a whole bunch. I don't even know the, the account. It's so much. But they taking money out of the debt that they already owe to other countries to fuck up our country even more. To fuck up our country even more. And if people are not looking at the big picture, okay, crack is illegal, right? Or narcotics. Let's just say narcotics. Narcotics is illegal. So if narcotics is illegal, why would you make pipes for the narcotics? For every cause, there's a effect. For every action, there's a reaction. You got to think about this, man. You like you people really got to sit down and think, man. People like this is uh an eye opener at least, man, a warning or something, man. Like, I'm not gonna do that whole oh uh, man, we gotta wake up and like man, fuck it. We in twenty twenty two, man. If people ain't woke up by now, they just like fuck it. That's not I'm not coming here to save the day. Like, no, no, fuck all that. But at the same time, man, you just gotta really peep the signs and realize what's going on, man. Like, what if that was you in that situation? 
Or what if that was one of your family members in that situation that happened to be strung out? How would that make you feel? Like, damn, the place that's supposed to be land of the free is goddamn basically feeding me poison. The 30 million, you can, like, come on, all them lives you can change. Just think, $30 million. Instead of using it for negative, you can make that for positive, man. I want to know y'all a pan on this, this situation. What would y'all do with $30 million if y'all had it? If y'all had a way to change the community, we ain't talking about what would y'all, like, personally, because we know y'all niggas going to cash out. <laughs> y'all doing y'all thing. But if y'all was put in a position to have $30 million strictly to help the community and to help the people around, what would y'all use it for? What would y'all use it for, man? Because you got the president of the United States using it for negative. Using it to, come on, man, to make pipes. That's what niggas want to do with $30 million, to make pipes, to make crack pipes. And the big picture is, a lot of people not understanding, it's not an epidemic like it once was. Like in the 80s and all that, that's when it was, crack was... It was basically crack, crack and weed and the other shit, the PCP, the sh like the, you you know, you, drugs is drugs. So you, they going to always be around, but that crack, that cocaine, man, that was the eighties. They had that shit on lock, my nigga, like Jordan, man, all that shit. I was finna get on topic, but anyways, though, but yeah, it was an epidemic, but nowadays it's not. So that's why they trying to make that them pipe so it could be easily accessible so they can start to crack again. Cause nowadays you got perkies. Fentanyl, of course, the weed. It's all different type of shit. So now they're like, damn, it's not an epidemic. Everybody not strung out on it like they once was. So we got to bring that shit back. Let's go ahead and bring that shit back. Let's make them strung out even more. Let's make them strung out even more. They're not going to take that $30 million and put it into their gated community. They not. They not. Literally, they not. They not. <laughs> like, they not, man. Just... Just think about it. And I don't even want to sound racial or get racial, but you just got to look at the facts. The truth is the truth, and that's going to always stand. I'm not talking about him as a president or the politics they be in. I'm not no fucking politician. I don't give a fuck about none of that. To be honest, man, the president, they already going to know who the president is before they, they even elect him, man. But that's another subject, man. I hope I don't get flagged or striped for this, man. But it's the truth, man. It's the truth. Word up. It's the truth, man. Hey, and what? Black History Month, man. Every month is our history month, man. Shout out to the true first president of the United States, man. Black man. But anyways, like I was saying, it's not an epidemic like it used to be. So they bringing it back. And I just want to know y'all opinion on it, man. All the negative shit, it get brought to the light. That shit go viral. But shit that happens in our community every day, the news, they, they put it out there. It don't get spoke on. Nobody, everybody turn a blind eye. But let it some negative shit. Let let it be some some women or some just fights or or whatever. Just negative shit, man. That shit you gonna see that man. You seeing it all day, every day. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Follow my Instagram, Trayvon Moses, T R E V O N M O S E S. We out.